So because everything's safer, everyone ha everyone has a chance to be safer, and the punishes are kind of like it's, it's an interesting game for sure. Yeah, I Anyways. agree with that. We get uh, into this game, Stockholm Syndrome taking a lead. Not going for a campy approach at all, oh, going straight wow. into there. That's usually pe how people play the first stock, especially if you got the combo going on. Uh, how people play the first stock as Peach or Sheik? That's pretty much anyone, at least in melee. I feel like they go, um, they usually go aggressive their first stock. Huh. At least th that's how I feel about it. Oh, and I, I don't think he even noticed. Oh, uh, throws that away. Uh oh. Almost locked down his jump. Good crash cancel. He's got the grab. I think that's it, right? Oh no, goes up. It's kind of nice about uh, Sheik's grab. No matter what, you're gonna get a follow up on Peach. They can only control what hit you're gonna get. I, I think he messed that up, right? Yeah. Dash, dash into. Well, it does look like he could have just been DI at a weird angle. And Maybe. probably SDI'd it also. Can you SDI grabs? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, he traded very badly. I think you can't you can't DI with the C stick for, with grab. I don't know. Uh, I think you, you can uh, ASDI it, like, like what you're saying, but you can't smash DI. Oh, okay, I understand what you mean. Yeah. So he gets a little bit of free damage there, stops. It's a very smart approach. You don't want to overextend your combo and just get hit back. Oh, he's playing a lot more patient. This is very nice. He's catching up. A uh, bit of bit of a club there. He is playing really well against this uh, projectile game. Uh, who do you think? Uh, Sh uh, Shimon's playing well? Yeah. Okay, I can see that. But he's still getting punished. Oh my Ooh, god. Wow, he just throws scary. the bomb away. He doesn't even care. I would have waited. Honestly, if, if he would have gotten hit with anything, they would have both blown up. And yeah. He would have been in his last thought. Good punish. Oh, and he covers, covers just about everything. Except roll to the right. Oh. Wow, the crotch cancel. just spamming. Yeah, saying, I know you're going to try to come into me. It doesn't matter what I do. Oh. They, they were also both spamming crotch cancel, but you, you can't win. Oh, my. another bomb? Oh, that was really close to hitting it. <laughs> you can't win the crotch cancel game against Sheik if you're both crotch canceling. I think he took his jump. That's it. Should be... Ooh. <laughs> slowly uh, floats by. I thought that was calculated, but it wasn't. Right. Uh, that's it. Okay, so he's caught up just barely. He can definitely make this. Yeah, he can. Depends how he wants to play this. He gets one grab and he got, has an easy, like, 30-ish percent. And then all he has to do is play, like, one hit at a time. He is going for option for these full hops. <coughs> Not a bad idea, considering he can get crouch canceled. Right, right. But I think he should be going for a grab. Um, he went for Ooh, a grab what's it? immediately. I buy my words. <laughs> right. <laughs> So we have Stockholm Syndrome up a game on Shemunts. It's weird that Stockholm Syndrome is actually not uh, on the power ranking. Yeah, I guess. Stockholm Syndrome always places very, very strongly. This is weird. I feel like he took away his power over, over Peach, where he can just kind of like throw things and land with bears from the platforms. Yeah, but I feel like in Final D, he'll definitely be able to use needles more. And when he gets those um, those down throws, it's really hard for Peach to get away because there's no platform. So he okay. could be using it for that. You already see here, he's definitely going for that needle game. Yeah, a little more. He does I mean, seem to have an addiction to full hopping. <laughs> I mean, it seems like he should be doing that. Uh, uh, he's spacing pairs nicely, and this might be a hard hit. But every single time he, he hits her away, he should just be spamming those needles. Like, like, like right there. Like they're, they're both kind of far away from each other. Oh, what? Oh, he dropped, wow. he dropped his jump or something. He should just be throwing needles and stopping her from getting turnips. Every single time she grabbed one, he should be needling her. That's good. 
<laughs> Stockholm Syndrome looking like he couldn't believe that just happened. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, the man of many faces. Good float. And I wonder why Stockholm Syndrome isn't adapting to these full hops. He did try up being a couple times. I can see why you're not trying that every time, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a weird way of punishing it. And that's it. Good stuff to Stockholm. Shamun's... He's uh, playing a different game this time around. Yeah. So for sure, I, I, I guess you're, you were right about the stage pick. Oh, no. Half his lead is already gone. Down air into down smash. Oh, he saved his jump. Good stuff. And he crouch cancels into his shield. That was very smart. <laughs> what a hard hit. <laughs> oh, his face is just hilarious. Uh, he, he seems to be upset and at the same time unfazed. Hmm. Shimon opting for a weird option there. Going straight for a fair. Not really wanting to do a close hit combo. He stuffs the, the, the full jump that you're talking about, though. He what? He stuffs the full jump that you were talking about, where he keeps, keeps on full jumping. Yeah. On the ledge, he full jumped and just got lost his stock. Oh, he, he has no jump. Good DI. Uh-oh. Still has his jump and his float. Dips low. Very smart recovery. He wants to get off the ledge. Any, any slap will kind of do him in. And will he make it back? Again, he dips low. But again, he needs to get off the ledge somehow. I think that's it. Oh. And Shimon takes that game. It's 1-1. One, one. Shimon definitely switching up his neutral in that game. Yeah, he's been playing it a lot better. So uh, I'd say Stockholm Syndrome's probably going to want to go somewhere with platforms. Yeah, I think he's going to go either Fountain or Dreamland. Because he, he's surviving pretty well, whereas uh, he's actually edge guarding uh, Shimon uh, pretty well, too. So he's going to be surviving a lot, and Shimon, every single time he goes off stage, he's going to be losing his stocks. That would be the smart pick. He definitely has the advantage at this stage. No, he does not dash into the grab. But he does it so this time. Good punish. And the perfect shield leads into back air. He's controlling the stage and controlling what Shimon's doing too. Rinse and repeat at this point. Good job covering all the options. And yeah, he gets yeah. the uh, projectile game. Coming in hot. Solid game one. I mean, uh, suck one. Oh, the crash cancel. What a weird hit. Uh, the upper kind of sent him like all the way over there. Good recovery. He wants to get off the ledge though. Every single time he just, like every single time he recovers, he like floats lazily on the ledge and somehow gets hit back. Yeah. Again, so he, he went for a float and he got hit. And Shimon's showing that he could definitely still keep doing these full hops because uh, Stockholm Syndrome is having a really hard time dealing with them. I think he should opt for an up air probably. That would probably just help. Just let him come in and then just up air him. He probably doesn't want to let him land. I think he should hit him before he, um, like, while he's in the uh, apex of his jump. That's probably his best bet. But he's got to get a good read for that. Uh, but I think uh, Sheik's hitboxes would just automatically win, wouldn't they? Um, if he catches him early enough. Because, like, he, right now, Shermont is using his aerial halfway down from his full hop. If okay. he catches him when he's, like, in the apex of his jump, I think he could hit him. But then again, Shermont could read it. Yeah. But the trouble is Peach's movement as well. She's not going to get up there as fast as she can kind of get up there with, with, with uh, her full hops. That is true. I think you should at least try it once, though. Yeah. But I doubt it. Instead, uh... Okay. Mm, okay. Locks him down and then just... Tomahawk float. <laughs> yeah. Sends him the wrong way. But he's still it's way too far. And two stocks apiece looking pretty even. 
Shimon already knowing he is gonna try to camp him out with these lasers. I mean, uh, with these needles. These laser needles. I am tired of this garbage getting grabbed, getting floated on. Oh, he's just going for that heart. Down smash. He's looking like Mac down smash right now. Oh, that was weird, right? I seemed like he, he missed it. Yeah. And just auto grabbed it. <laughs> okay. How does that work? He really wants that down smash to tear apart his percentage. Oh, Stockholm Syndrome with a divine intervention. <laughs> okay. He needs to get off. Shimon's doing an amazing job keeping him off, but I, I feel like the mistakes are made more from Stockholm Syndrome's part of not not finding his way back on stage. Yeah. Good roll and good punish from Shimon as well. Okay, almost made it. Yeah, that was that was a very tricky recovery. He, Shimon, I don't think Shimon purposefully saw it coming. So he just he, he got the coverage somehow. Now that he has his lead, he should definitely just be the lead. Punishes the double jab. Two hard, three hard hits. Looking oh, like he's uh, losing every single hit. Yeah, try too hard to get to that platform, or jump into the platform and make it look like he's gonna land on it. But yeah, Shimon was just reading every single time he would aerial and just counter aerial. Is this why you can't? Like some, sometimes the smartest thing to do is just stuff, just fade back and wait for them to react first. Because you're playing with like a 50-50. If you come down from your recovery uh, with a hitbox, they might just read it and they'll just wait and they'll hit, they'll hit you back. If you don't, then and fade back, they'll they'll throw something out and you can just hit them back. Yeah. So I think uh, Stockholm's got about two good hits left in him before he's KO'd. He's deciding to play this by the ledge. He's going to look for a gimp. Yeah, maybe so. Uh-oh. Back air? Oh, he SDIs out of the down air. He gets back air instead. And Shimon takes that 